This is the future. the future. Well, good morning guys and welcome back to Crib Zone and this is Minecraft Part 2 Episode 1 Yeah, you're probably wondering where's the castle? Where's the rest of the castle build? Aren't you supposed to do a tier 2 and, and what kind of world is this? Where am I? Well, it was one of those days again where I lost Everything because of a password Yeah, you guys won't believe this I had to reset a password because I just linked an email address from my company to my home And then it required a new password Locking Windows Forcing me to reset Windows Forcing me to lose everything I had for the last two months Including the entire two months of minecraft builds so it's all gone my underwater house is gone my caves are gone my castle is gone and i was so far i was i had a, a hospital build the barracks was built training area was built the villages were built i was just about to do the marketplace and i was wanted to show you guys everything when i lost everything so this is our new world we are now in a kind of a farming community or it looks like farmlands so we're gonna own this area and we are going to build a farm now I did explore this area a little bit um, just beyond those mountains there there's actually a village which we will go and visit in the future so what did I do in one day well not much I started building the house so we cleared up a foundation I wanted to build the house exactly where I spawned. After building the house, it was time to uh, do some finishing, uh, just decorate the place a little bit. Starting off with the living room and the dining room. As you guys can see, the house is not very big on top. So where's the rest of the house? As you guys have seen maybe earlier when I was speaking, there is an underground cave system just underneath the house and I decided it will be nice to actually incorporate this into the building of the house so all the rest of the rooms have moved down here and I placed some glass windows glass roofs just to seal off the cave after the house was built I decided to, to look at the roaming animals which is roaming wild and I decided I'm gonna make some pins get some corrals get all the animals that's running around here wildly and start putting them in wherever I need them and by the end of the day this is the end result we have a nice living room and dining room area where we can sit and eat and relax after a day of work going outside let's start off with the area i think it turned out quite nice as you guys can see i've got all my pins here at the back with the horses and sheep and so on but let's start the tour off with the house. So, I planted the cherry tree because I like cherry, cherry trees. They actually look very nice. We have this little lapa area where you can sit in the afternoon, have a drink, look as the sun goes down because the sun goes down in that direction. Maybe uh, cook some food and just relax on a Saturday or Sunday just here. Moving on down, I'm gonna go to the front of the house on the one side I have all my farms and again guys we've got everything I planted everything that I could plant I didn't want to upset the flowers and the area too much so I moved around it I didn't remove any of the flowers and stuff that was growing here anyway so we've got wheat that I've planted here uh, moving on we've got some uh, what's that uh, everything fire flowers we've got some pumpkins we've got watermelons beetroot that was what was there we have some uh, carrots as well and we have sweet berries and we have potatoes 
As you guys can see, there's still some chickens and animals running around freely, which I left on this side of the house. I didn't catch them. I only caught the ones that was on the other side of the house and I put them in pins. So here's all our sweet berries. I think uh, the layout is bad. It's, it's quite nice and it's a lot of food. Um, I tried uh, oh, and also put this wall all around my estate. So everywhere where my area is, I put this wall in to, to keep the bad guys out. Uh, the reason why I'm walking with a bow and arrow is because I had to kill three or four um, pillagers that was spawning inside my sheep pens and uh, I don't want any people inside my area. It's inside my yard. Um, this is also a very lovely area. I think if you want to go and have a picnic, this is a great picnic area. And uh, I also built this little fishing spot for myself. Oh, first come check here. Look at the roses. This is a very nice natural picnic area. So I left all of this untouched. I didn't do anything here. And I'm going to leave it as is. Here we have our little fishing area. Our little jetty. You can fish from this side or you can fish from the front. So this is quite nice. And on the other side of the map where the village is, there's actually where the sea is. Or maybe it's a big lake. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of water there. Let's go on back and I'll show you the back part of the house. Okay, let's take a shortcut here. I'm not going to go through the house. Um, so this is the other way you can go out of the house. You come to this part of the, the, the yard or the area. We have a dam here. And once again, my fish has disappeared. I don't know what's happening to my fish. Every time I put fish in a pond, it disappears. So this is not just a fish pond where we can get some water. We've got our sheep pens. Uh, Got a couple of sheep that I caught that was roaming around the area. Um, so they all have food and there's water everywhere and there's not also the natural grass. Then here we've got our chickens, our cluck clucks. I get a lot of eggs from these guys. So um, I pick up the eggs uh, periodically as I get here, I'll pick up the eggs. And uh, I don't know why they keep on sitting in the water. Maybe they like to swim. Maybe they think they're ducks. Hey, hey, come back here. Nobody escapes and lives. <laughs> Meat and chicken. Okay. Don't escape my pins. You will become lunch. Then moving on this side, we have our pigs. With our little mud area. I put a lot of mud in there for them to play with. And also the one likes to go dunking inside the water. I don't know why. Maybe he thinks it's a tea bag. And lastly, the last thing that I actually caught that was roaming around here were some wild horses. So up here we have on our, on our right hand side we have our horses. I made sure the wall is two um, stones on top of each other to make it high enough so that nobody can come in from the outside. So I think my area is quite safe. Let's move on into the house and let me show you what I did with the house. So coming in here from this side we have our, well I know you guys already know what we're going to have. <laughs> we have our study. And uh, yeah, basic study, just some books and stuff. And then, as we carry on, we have our first bathroom, which is got a toilet and a bathtub, zinc, 
the usual stuff you need with a towel. Going up this way. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, let's go. For, yeah, let's go down to the rooms first. The glass just gives us more natural light and uh, covers, you know, closes off the cave. We've got a workroom here with most of the working stuff we need, like uh, crafting tables and so on. Then this way we have our first bedroom. I did make three bedrooms this time, just uh, a small bedroom for maybe if you have a visitor or someone with a little walk-in closet thingy there and a place to put your stuff then moving on down we we'll get to the master bedroom I can put in another bedroom I think I'll put in another bedroom later on but this is the master bedroom mine nice big bed nice closets backspace books and a nice big bathroom with a shower a bathtub and all that stuff that you need there and uh, yeah, I'll probably later today just put in another bedroom. There is space. We can do that. And then this is the exit that goes out into the farmlands. So this is our one exit that goes to the front of the house. If you want to go, you know, outside without going out of the main house. Maybe if you get ambushed, you have a an extra secret way out. Going back in, we are going to go to the... Um, front of the house where I made a little how can I say a sun corner where you can just sit and relax maybe read a book bake in the sun oh here's our kitchen don't forget the kitchen we've got our kitchen here nice big kitchen maybe we can make our food and then this is our little sun corner a little bit of a different design you can sit and just relax, look at the sky. If it rains, I think this will be a nice area just to relax. Moving up the stairs, we're back in the house. And this is the main area where we started the whole tour. I think it turned out quite nice. So all I actually need now is an extra bedroom. And then we are settled. So then, this is it guys. This is my first build in the new world on my first day. Didn't do too much. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Uh, he'll hit the bell icon if you want to get notified of the next upload. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, well, this is not what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted to be, I wanted to finish the castle for you guys. Unfortunately shit happened but I have learned from this um, from this point forward I will back up my world every time I finish the project and I will save it somewhere else so that next time if I have to load Minecraft I can just restore my world as it is um, but I'm gonna show you guys now is how the place looks at night and then in our next video we will go and visit the villagers we will make a little um, footpath and maybe a rail station to the new villages because I'm definitely not gonna walk <laughs> okay guys until next time then remember whatever you do keep it safe cheers <laughs>